Hackenbach, this is my doctor, my personal physician, Mr. Dr. J. Let's hear it for Dr. J. Hey, please refrain from all plastic hockey. It will kill him. All right, thank you, doctor. I do have a bit of a temper, and I've had some uh, health issues due to my cocaine use. Yes, that's right. I'm making a comeback. I was a rising comedian in 1985, did a lot of blow, flipped my Corvette, you know the story. But this is America, you get a second chance. That's fine, you can go, you can go. So what we're doing, thank you, Doctor. What we're doing here now, we're doing a little pilot taping for uh, comedians off of a leash, not to be confused with comics on a leash. My lawyer cleared it. We can call it that. So you guys ready to have a good time? Yeah. Okay, I need my producer out here. Uh, here let's give a big round of applause for Mr. Tim Thomas, everybody. Yeah. Look at that jacket. Let's hear it for his jacket, all right? Oh, it's real moose skin. Yeah, Timmy. Timmy is a special needs fella. He comes to us from the evergreen uh, adult uh, home. He's got three responsibilities there. He knocks them out of the park every time. Let's hear it for Tim. Yeah. <laughs> when he points to you, I want you to give it up. You got to laugh. This is TV. We can't hear your smiles, folks, okay? So let's try something. Uh, knock, knock. Who's there? Uh, a grape. What did a grape do when it got stepped on? I let out a little wine. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Clap, 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 come on, Jimmy. There you go! Clap! Woo! That's mine, sir. Anybody else back there? <laughs> oh, we got limits of time. All right, so you get the idea. Look at him when you need to laugh. You don't know what's going on. Look at Timmy. Timmy Thomas, okay. Yeah, Timmy Thomas! Thank yeah. you, ready to go, Doc? I appreciate it. All right, again, I need you to help me out. Make a big comeback here. I am clean. I don't want anybody tweeting this tonight that I'm not clean or anything that, uh, you know. Don't tweet that! Might screw up my uh, chances. Thank you, doctor. Okay, so here we go. James in the booth, our director, James. Let's hear for James. Oh, it's great to be with you. James and I worked on Fish Dad, 1988. Great, great show, Fish Dad. Best, uh, best time I love. Uh, James, one quick note, a little thing here. Can you turn down this, these front lights? Give me oh, a sure lot can. of the spins. I do not need the spins right now. A little, that's good, that's good. <laughs> Thank you. All right, a couple other things real quick. I am uh, I got my catchphrase back. Blow your brains out, 1988. <laughs> he remembers. Blow your brains out. That was me, okay? All right, and uh, one other thing. I'm, I'm expecting a phone call. Sorry to keep you waiting, folks, but I'm going to be the Shasta guy. That's right. Shasta soda, anybody? Healthy soda. Healthy soda. I'm going to be the spokesperson. I'm going to be on the buses. I'm going to be the taxi cabs on your little uh, screens there. Sell Shasta. That's me. I'm getting the national campaign. Just need one more phone call from my agency. We have speed sharp ones in ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Thank you, good evening, and welcome to Comedians Off of the Leash. My name is Fritz the Goose Neckbach. That's good. <laughs> okay. James, just make a mark, we'll cut this out. Oh, yeah, have uh, a whole section, no problem. Okay. And three, two, one, okay. Yeah. All right, so there's a lot of things happening in the news, folks, right? Ooh, 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 yeah. Looks like Ron Paul is in the race for President of the United States. You know, he won't win because he's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, pause real quick, James. Uh, Ooh, I'm really? Uh, I'm good, I'm good. I'm, good. <laughs> I'm just going to go back to the old material. I don't have time to do the top of shit. How's the shaky letter? Okay, it's good. Isn't it? And three, <laughs> two, one. And we are live! Go! Oh, hey, folks, who's at the supermarket? Huh? The supermarket? You get the cart with the wheel? over here, you're over there, it's got a mind of its own, right? And uh, Twinkies, right Twinkies with like a, the cream filling, 
Yeah, they never expire, right? Oh, I'm an old Twinkie. Somebody kill me. Somebody. Okay. Uh, uh, and, uh, clap, clap. Okay. Right. A fruit pie, fruit pies, right? With the, 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 just like grandma used to make in the kitchen with the chemicals. No, it's not. Okay. All right. Okay. James, we're going to bring out the comedians. Everybody who wants to be some comedy? Yeah. Okay. All right. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Rob Cantrell. And the other guy I brought, who was the other guy? <laughs> John Donnelly! John Donnelly! Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, John Donnelly! Did you guys have those fun? Yeah. You gotta love it to dime, John Donnelly. Hey! Oh, right. hey. hey. Yeah. I gotta hear my It's really smoky out here. I'm sorry. <laughs> What? You got a bag, you're a little slow getting out. It's not ever. I'm okay, thanks. Just pause tape, real fast. Quick dance. Pause tape. Uh, tape, pause tape. Cool. And roll in three, two, one. And we are live! For me, you know, change, the only thing that changed is I have a ring now. A wedding ring. They call it that. And I look a lot cooler when I go like this. If I call somebody over like that, that looks a lot cooler. If I go, get the fuck over here. Come here, like that. <laughs> when you, if, you, if a guy with a ring calls you over, you better get the fuck over there. That's all I'm saying. He might yeah. kill you, but I'm not cool. I don't say cool shit when I call people over. So I'm like, get the fuck over here. Come here, get over here. <laughs> you know, I get some cute tips. Thanks for stepping on my punchline, Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> Get down. Two, three. <laughs> so, Bruce, I got married on August. No. Woo! <laughs> All right, you can move on. Oh, yeah, yeah. Eric Hertzstrom. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh... Okay, yeah. So, you got a girlfriend, huh, Eric? Yeah, yeah, this is true. Uh, so I, I have a girlfriend, and her uh, within the last two months, she's had uh, two of her goth friends die. Uh, uh, so this joke sets up itself. Uh, that's uh, timing, chasing. Let's go. No, no. <laughs> I know, but she's sad, all her friends are sad, uh, all her goth friends are sad, so they're doing their job. Uh, but, you know, maybe, maybe God just didn't want to watch The Crow alone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, is that, that Steven Spielberg right there? Is that right there? My best friend, Tim Thomas. Oh, Tim Thomas. <laughs> Check it out. Tim Thomas. All right. Hey, Rob Cantrell. Yes. Spinach. You and Papa. You love spinach. Oh, yeah, I love the spinach. But the thing about it is, is you can talk. You know, you know, you can have this conversation with somebody and be very smart. Talk about binary code, global, global economics, <laughs> global and global economics. But it's, but but if you have a piece of spinach in your teeth when you're talking all of this, they all. Yeah. You sound like you are talking about butt fucking goats. <laughs> or how? Or uh, the South will rise again. And uh the South will rise again. Yeah, they will, they will. With spinach. Uh, quick story, quick story. I was on the set of Dukes of Hazard. I was dating these. Oh yeah, tell me about it. And Daisy Dukes, and what she was wearing. Right right how, how old are you? It's a top secret. Yeah, I was in the CIA. I can't tell anyone. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, so I'm going to watch it again. Around this, you do it too. Stop going. Okay, let's go. Rock, rock, rock. Yeah. I don't want that getting around. Don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> 
Well, uh, tell me about your hunting and your buddies and the no, deer. No, I haven't been hunting. I haven't been hunting. I, I, have, uh, I, have, uh, I have uh, uncles who, who go uh, hunting all the time. And, oh, wow. Uh, and I, I saw them over uh, my vacation, and they were uh, they were like talking about hunting. They're saying, you know, I, I shot like a 10-point buck. I was like, do you guys know, know what that means? It means how many uh, antlers the, uh, the deer has. No. Those are, I'm like, there's no, there's no like small deer with like a lot of, a lot of points. <laughs> like, hey, I, I shot a 20 point buck. He was real tiny, he couldn't lift his head. What's that? What's that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cody, can you come forward? Right, right, right. Chris, did you leave a threatening voice now? Well, I need to address it. This is my bouncer, ladies and gentlemen, Cody. Okay, we had some security issues last time. We had some security issues. I just need you to patrol this like section here. You look a little suspicious. You're either with me or against me, okay, folks? That guy right there. I'm talking to you. Right? And extra security, you can go ahead, go back and just patrol that area there. To preserve. To preserve. I'm going, bring, I'm going to bring a little extra security out right now. Like I learned this in the CIA, a little black magic here. James, are we ready? Oh, we are ready. Can I drop a good old friend of mine? <laughs> add, add a little spike to the taping. Here we go. You guys want to join his hands? Go ahead. You can. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh, dear Lord Satan. <laughs> Please grant me extra security. <laughs> Oh mom spy, 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 oh spy, oh mom spy, please walk up in the stage, the one, the only, this is the Can we get a tape? Uh, 
Uh, we are good right now. How much time we have left? We oh, we've got only a little bit of time left there. Uh, okay. there we go. We got to rush. Slightly around. Okay, I'm gonna take a little care, care of business. Okay. You just do your thing. Do your thing. Do your thing. Do your thing. Are <laughs> <laughs> you coming in later? Go ahead. Yeah. Right. Are you gonna go hang out with Elvis? No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> you have the paper. I'll be right back. Put uh, the CD my in, myself in. So you don't leave your gun out here. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go. You want to start off, Rob? Oh, here we go. There's a oh, gun here. The Nordic bouncer. <laughs> there's security. There's a fog machine. There's a. Uh, <laughs> there's a uh, <laughs> it hasn't been working out much. This is like a Glen Danzig backdraft. Glen Danzig naked in Pumas. Glen what? Let's make a warm one for the earth. What is Glen? Why does Glen Danzig have Pat Benatar hair? What does that have? Why do you love the devil so much? What do I say what everything looks like? I will answer everyone's questions one at a time. Why do you love the devil so much? No, it's not really about the devil. It's just be about all of the world, man. I just want to with the rocket. We fuck it. With the rocket. You just gotta fuck it. Oh. Sturdy, you go hug it. It's real crazy. Good, you alright? Someone help with the loader. Oh, it seems like he's kind of cooked yeah. up. Did any of you guys also get threatening voicemails before he came on the show? <laughs> yeah, he does. Really? Really? Oh, oh, oh my god. He told me he wasn't doing it anymore. He's got his medicine now, he's alright! Oh, it's Kabuki Goose! So we got any adrenaline? Of course. <laughs> You want to kill a bunch of poor people, Mexicans, black people, <laughs> kill the black people, kill the black people. Like, <laughs> 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 right? Stage that shit! Stage that shit! Pull it up, burn the Arabs, kill them all, fuck you, fuck you! Bye. I, I, told, Bye, my, I told my mom to watch this. All right, I told my mom to watch this. All right, hey, Chester, guess what? You know you can do, Chester? You can do a lot of million dollars. <laughs> Dollars, you're going to be worth shit 
car. I know you can do. I'm super high right now. <laughs> You can go. You can go. Blow your brains out!